Okay, so this one, <laughs> this one's a little tricky. Uh, first of all, you see this negative exponent right there, which is, you know, it, okay, is it not even a polynomial, but we're going to still work with trying to factor it. It's not factored because we have addition right here, okay? Now we're going to back up a little bit. Think about when you have something like x to the fifth plus x cubed, and you say, oh, there's a GCF. And you say that factors into x cubed, because they both have x cubed, right? Times x squared plus 1, right? Okay, and that's true. That's all fine and good. You can think about that or rewind this and watch that part again. But you took out the one with the smaller exponent, right? You knew they both had a base of x, and you said, well, one's x to the fifth and one's x cubed. So you took the one with the smaller exponent, and you factored that out. Okay, well, that's what we're going to do here. So to do that, though, we're going to take another little step. They have x plus 1. That's the base that they have in common. So which one has the smaller exponent, the negative 3 fourths or the 1 fourth? Well, the negative 3 fourths, that's the smaller exponent, smaller exponent. So what I'd like to do is I would like to see this part as x plus 1 to the negative 3 fourths, because that's what I'm going to factor out, GCF. But then what would the rest be? Like how would I get that to be x plus 1 to the 1 fourth? I can write it as x plus 1 to the 4 fourths. Okay, so that's the tricky part. Thinking about 1 fourth, being equal to negative 3 fourths plus 4 fourths. And that's true, but is it natural to just think like that? I don't, I don't know that it is. Why did I want a negative 3 fourths? Well, because that's the smaller exponent. That's what I have to factor out. Okay, so you might want to think about that for a little bit. Turn off the video and maybe think about where those numbers came from and if it makes some sense. Okay, but we'll assume it makes sense. So this part now is the same as this part. That is my GCF then. It's going to factor out. So I'm going to have x plus 1 to the negative 3 fourths. And now what's going to be left? I'll use a bracket. x, right? And then plus, OK, that's the addition sign right there. You can say x plus 1 to the 4 fourths. I'm going to put that, because that hopefully will make it make a little more sense to you. Okay, oops, but what is the 4 fourths? Well, that's just 1. <laughs> so I have my GCF out, and we'll deal with that in a minute. Um, and now I can say, well, x plus x plus 1 to the first power, but I don't need those parentheses inside those brackets. So I could just write x plus x plus 1. And now I can make that, I'm going to take a lot of room here, I have x plus 1 to the negative 3 fourths, and now I have 2x plus 1. That is factored. It's multiplication. You've got stuff times stuff. So the 2x came from x plus x, in case you were wondering. Okay, we're not going to have a negative exponent in our final answer, so we're going to rewrite this as 2x plus 1 Think about what we learned about negative exponents, its location, so it's going to go downtown, go down in the denominator, and that's going to be our answer. Now it's not a polynomial, our answer is not a polynomial. Um, it leads into what we're going to do in the next section, P6, um, which has to do with rational expressions, but that one's a little tricky. So.